took her to any range one more time in thoracic spine. Really didn't see anything uh, significant happen. I've looked at her technique with rotation. Uh, she's getting in range, but I did go ahead and mobilize into left rotation. Slight changes, but not enough to be excited about by any means. This is so in, sitting, in sitting, Steve, or in supine? Yes, that was in sitting. Uh huh. Sitting. Okay. Uh huh. So she's tolerating sitting position now really well, unlike the the visit prior. So we looked at lateral flexion wards. Uh, so she did uh, self overpressure. Then I came in and did uh, clinician overpressure and mobilization. And really, to my surprise, uh, just nothing, nothing happened there. So I'm at the point of beginning to scratch my head a little bit as to where, where am I going here? So if you circle back to visit one and seeing those changes from thoracic spine, I knew I wanted to, to look there further. Um, I had not explored left rotation. So I compared right and left thoracic trunk rotation. Did not really see loss there, but I went ahead and had her move into left thoracic rotation. I had her do some overpressure where she used some momentum to build that uh, um, force and tolerated it well, but did not affect any of her baselines. Okay. So at this point, I'm really contemplating flexing her, but if I make her worse again, she's gone. I, I'm not getting her back. So. I'm running through the checklist in my mind. What have I missed? What have I not looked at? And lateral flexion of the thoracic spine, I had not looked at. So what the heck? Let's look at this. Um, I have her sitting tall. I uh, was going to show you here, but have her link her hands right at the, the breastbone and just try to tilt. Um, you know, right at that axis where the hands are. So I'll use that, those hands higher, lower as a bit of a cue to try to create an access point where they're in that area. Yeah. And it was very interesting because when, as soon as she began to do that, she said, I feel that in this, in my scapula on the left, which I hadn't heard from her any, she said, I feel a pinch. So. It was just interesting, and in hindsight, you know that that maybe told me that she was really getting movement where she needed to. But it did get better with repetition, and within five, six repetitions, completely full left rotation, complete, completely. So I really thought, what happened? You know, this this is not normal. I was very surprised. So obviously I'm <laughs> that there's your movement. And so we talked further and really encouraged her to be monitoring left rotation because that again was our baseline that really was most relevant and talking to her about watch that, you know, here's the first time you've seen this full and pain-free, this is normal. So anything that registers less than it is right now, there you go. You've got to do that. So I asked her to do that hourly, that she's awake every hour. I need you to turn over your left shoulder and see if there's tightness there. Mm -hmm. If it's in the least bit tight, you, you tilt. And have you uh, utilized left lateral flexion much with patients? I do not. I do not. I uh, cannot say I do. Uh, you know, I've had just, you know, I can count on one hand how many people that really have benefited from that but when they have benefited from it i think it's been kind of a short lived month after month new guest experts sharing actual patient cases and subscribers sharing their own challenging and interesting cases check out case conversations at mechanicalcareforum.com